Welcome everyone to the Brave Night Creative. I am Craven Knight and on this episode we're going to be doing some woodworking. Uh, I'll be showing you how I made my rolling workbench here. So um, we are going to cut to me to when I record uh, about what I'm talking about this tabletop because this whole thing is based around this recycled tabletop. So let's cut to me. This is my old stand-up desk. I had this before I built the big six foot wide, 25 inch deep desk that I have in my workspace inside the house. I really, after building that desk, I have no use for it now. So it's just been sitting here in the garage for the last few days. And I don't have a use for it specifically like this in the garage, but I thought after getting into woodworking, I should just use the top of it. I don't need the metal frame, so I was thinking it can be kind of my little mobile work bench in a way that I could potentially make a little storage area to put some of my handheld power tools under instead of putting it on the shelf in the corner. So that's what my plan is for this. So yeah, let's kind of get started. So here I'm getting started. I'm getting all my pieces of wood lined up so I can have all my puzzle pieces I need to put this bench together. So now it's just measuring and cutting and setting them aside. Now I'm using the desk itself to kind of help me out and using pieces of wood to space everything out so I can work a lot easier. Now I'm trying to set up a little bit of a gap so the desktop itself can fit nice and flush instead of just on top of the panels. Now I'm screwing everything in, trying to drill my holes and screw everything in, but here's where I got ahead of myself where I didn't account for the thickness of the wood and I had to disassemble it just so I could put the cross beam, supporting beam, and then assemble it right back together. Not that big of a deal, but uh, I just didn't put that much thought. Now here's where I'm putting the shelves for the uh, bottom area of the workbench. I don't believe I plan on using this wood for this purpose, so I didn't have enough pieces of wood. So I had to use three pieces to make one panel so I can have the four panels I need to glue together and then nail down. I don't have a nail gun, unfortunately, so I just screw them all in piece by piece. And now I'm disassembling the desktop from the desk and now you see I don't have enough space but I just add a piece of wood to make up for that and it came out just fine. Okay, it's all done and I did make some additions uh, that I did not record. Um, I did add casters. That was my original plan was to add casters so this could roll back and forth. These casters I got are cheap ones that can twist on. It's what I had access to, it's what I saw, so I just grabbed them. Wasn't a fan of them. Uh, putting them on because there was a lot of adjusting to make sure that it wasn't wobbly, but um, they're fine for now They're the only ones I can find that had the locks on them so it could stay stable in one place Added this piece of wood here to hold my clamps But I also have wire that I like to screw into either walls or benches or whatever to Kind of use these little hooks to hold on to stuff. You can see I have some of my tools here. I have, have a little um, toolbox, a wooden toolbox that my sister gave to me that I ended up bringing back here when I moved back in with her to pretty much hold screwdriver glues and other little tools that I can just toss in there. As you saw, I put the shelf in and it just holds uh, my other power tools that I have here, a basket to put some bunch of other stuff and some um, weights, some plates from my uh, dumbbell set. Uh, I do have a cutting mat up here. I had an extra cutting mat because I got a bigger one for my big workbench over there on the wall. Um, you can have one of those magnet strips to put some bits. And the other side, I just have a couple things. This little organizer with some bits. And uh, my handsaw to handsaw things. That is it for the, uh, the workbench. I know there's probably way better ways I could have went about this, but I did it how I did it. I'm probably gonna change some things up. Maybe add a little tray section here in this little strip from where I screwed up um, with uh, not accounting for the wood, the thickness of the wood, but it, it's fine because it still works for me. That's pretty much it for this. You heard me ramble long enough. I want to thank you all for joining me on the Break Night Creative. I am Craven Knight. You can follow me at Craven Knight on the Twitter and on Instagram. See what I got going on 
there. But if you just want to see the projects that I'm doing, you can follow at Break Night Creative on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Break Night CRT on Twitter, actually. Everything I just talked about is linked in the description, so check that out. So do like the video if you dig this. Do subscribe if you want to see everything else that I'm doing and leave a comment and let me know what you think of everything that I'm doing. This is all fun for me and I hope it's fun for you to watch. Um, thanks again for joining me. Stay creative everyone and peace, love and chicken grease and I am out.